welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like and make sure you share my videos. It helps my channel grow and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back to my channel. Good morning everyone. It is day two of our egg fast. All right so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making for my meals today. I'm in my work uniform already. I do have to work today. Um, in about 20 minutes, so I'll be leaving here right away. And you will see the meals that I eat today. Um, you already seen my weigh-in and my ketones, which is awesome. We're doing the right thing. We're drinking lots of water. Make sure you get the, that water in if you do decide to do an egg fast. And we'll see what the day brings us and how I'm feeling today. I can already feel like pretty much this morning, I feel better than I did yesterday which is a good sign. It means that I'm getting into ketosis. So like I said, I'm not too worried about the weight, um, you know, the two pounds or whatever that I'm over with my goal. I'm just more or less worried about, well, not worried about, but I just want to feel good. I want to feel like how I feel when I'm in ketosis because that's when I feel my best. So that's what this egg fast is doing and just getting me back into ketosis. So see what I do throughout the day and see how I feel and make out throughout today's video and see if I can make it through day two. our egg fast challenge. I am just busy making my daily meals here this morning. So I'm making four chaffles. I've already made two third ones in there and then this is the last one. I'm making these all sweet chaffles with my butter and my maple syrup. As you can see, I went down today, which was water weight. I made sure that I drank a lot of water. I am in ketosis this morning. I looked it up and my GKI is, says I'm in low ketosis. So that's a good thing already. Um, I just have two of the cheese left over. I shredded up some. Um, I think it was two ounces. You're allowed three ounces in a day and this is another ounce. So I'm going to take that with me to work. I work today from 9 to 5.30 and then I do have a meeting in town from 6.30 until 8. So I will have to prep all my meals again today, which I'm okay with, and just take them with. So let's see what else I have here. I am also making or have made um, my pizza one. I need to just drizzle some hot sauce over that. I made it a little bit thicker this time around. Um, I made it with two full eggs for that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot sauce on there. I just used the sriracha. This was so good yesterday, this egg pizza. I'm gonna just double up on it. It was like, it tasted really, really good. The savory and such, there I just put a little bit of hot sauce on. I cut it in half and just layered it in my container. I will be taking that to work with me. And let's see if one of our chaffles looks pretty done. And I ran out of the uh, extra cheese that I put on the bottom and the top. So I think two have it and two didn't, so which is fine. And this is going to be our last chaffle here. Like I said, I've listed the recipe in my day one. So I will link that video here. You'll see the recipe that I used for these egg, this egg fast. Because obviously you can't have the coconut flour and the baking powder. Baking powder maybe wouldn't be too, too bad, but um, I just made them without just for the sake of completing it properly. Also too, I was going to mention on the bottom of the, the pan when I made my pizza, egg, egg pizza, I put some olive oil today. All right, I think our last truffle here is done so you're going to take that out and just let it cool we are unplugging this all right we're going to let those just cool off for a few minutes this one is really hot the other three are pretty cool but i'll just wait to package them in our container here for the day i also wanted to say that i am still having my coffee in the morning as well too um sorry this is all a mess um 
So I just have my instant coffee, which I have here. So I put my instant coffee in. I do use two sweeteners as well in my coffee. I still do my collagen. I feel like that's important. And then I just put, I got this new syrup that I'm using and it's the salted caramel swirl. And I did put a dash of that in as well. And I put a dash in of the uh, heavy, heavy whipping cream here. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I am still doing my coffee. I'm just doing one cup a day. You've seen all my ingredients. It, it hasn't affected me. I've still been able to get into ketosis. I don't have my whipping cream or my salted caramel, like the caramel flavoring. I don't have that on top just because I have no whipping cream made, to be honest. So um, give it a try. You know, I know last time I think I did it, I didn't have coffee in the morning. I think either way, depending on like how diligent you are and how much you want to use, how much you want to lose, will kind of determine if you're going to have coffee or not. Okay, I melted the butter. You are allowed one tablespoon per egg, actually. So I've already used um, my fat source with my egg pizza. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer this and I'm going to put a little bit of butter on each layer so that I can get the full butter flavoring on each. And then I'm going to put some of the maple syrup over top of it all. All right, there we have it, you guys. We are going to take this to work. I don't know if I'll finish it in one meal or what, but um, I made five eggs this morning. That's all I had um, left. So I'm going to get some more eggs and cheese today because now I'm out of cheese as well too for the day. So we'll see what I make with my last egg. I don't know. I'm going to have probably this for lunchtime today and then I'll probably have this for supper. I'll see how the day goes. I might just buy a hard boiled egg or something when I get into town. I'll have a little bit of extra time before my meeting because you're supposed to stop eating three hours prior to going to bed. So for me, that's usually like nine o'clock. So I have to be done eating by six. So I want to make sure that I'm done all my meals by then. All right, it's about 10 o'clock and I'm going to have two of my cheese that I have and I'm going to have one of the truffles right now. All right, it is almost one o'clock and I am going to have my egg pizza and this is so good. I made a big one and cut it in half so there's two of them here. I'm just gonna roll them up I think and eat them that way. Really good and I also filled up my water. It is a quarter after two and I am going to have the rest of my chaffles that I made and finish up my water here and then I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I have one egg left for today so I may stop and get a hard boiled egg. I don't know. I'm not too too worried about it to be honest. If I don't if I don't find an egg and have time to make an egg it's I don't think it's going to make a break. All right I am just having an egg omelet with some Swiss cheese on top, and there's two eggs in here, and I'm having it with water. All right, I was just sorting out my vitamins for the week. Um, I didn't fill it on Monday, so I filled it all today. I just wanted to go through them with you with what I have. I have the biotin for nails, skin, and hair, and I take a multivitamin as well. Potassium and magnesium are very important when you're on keto. They will help you from feeling sluggish and keep your electrolytes up. Vitamin D is just for overall um, health. They call it the happy pill. It's, it gives you, in the winter time, it gives you the vitamin D that you need. In the summer, you can pretty much get it just from the sun. Dandelion root, this is good for digestion. So I have IBS, um, so I find that this helps a lot too. And turmeric, I started taking this and my joints felt so much better. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory, helps with joint pain and other inflammatory conditions. So I don't, I don't have arthritis or anything like that, but my joints do get sore sometimes if I'm sitting down too much. But now that I'm taking this on a daily basis, it has helped me tremendously. The pill that I take every day, it's my Constella for my stomach. And I also take Simbacort. Uh, twice a day, once in the morning and once at night time. But I just wanted to let you guys know what vitamins I take and I highly recommend you guys take vitamins 
and I just get mine on Amazon. They seem to have the best price. And then I just bought this container at the dollar store just to keep all of my vitamins organized. All right, guys, I am all done eating for the day. It is 7.36 and I am going to bed early. I never did make it to my appointment at 6.30 till eight. I was just too tired. So this is going to be the end of day two and we'll see you tomorrow. final day of our egg fast so last night after I ended the vlog actually for yesterday I uh, did some meal prep for today I will show you what I made in just a minute actually um, so I had my coffee it's about a quarter to eight I work at nine today day 17 we did it today is my last day of working 17 days straight and I work at winners today from nine until three so I'm so excited. Tomorrow I am doing nothing. I'm staying in my pajamas all day and my husband and kids are going to serve me. <laughs> I wish. But no, I am. I'm taking a day rest tomorrow. Like I'm literally not doing anything. Um, I did the dishes last night. My husband helped with the dishes, did laundry, cleaned up a little bit. So I'm not doing housework on my only day off. So I feel really good this morning. Um, as you can see my numbers with my ketones, I still am in low ketosis, just kind of borderline between low and moderate. And I am also going to have one of these um, sweet chaffles that I made last night. And that will be my breakfast because you're supposed to have an egg within a half hour of eating. Like I try to do it within an hour that I eat. I don't eat my first meal till usually after lunchtime, right? And I usually only have two meals a day. So this has been different because you're supposed to eat um, every like three to four hours. So I've been doing that and then stop eating three hours before bed as well too. Also, if you want more information on the egg fast, make sure that you Google it. Um, there is a transition period after you do your egg fast, whether it is three days, five days, you're supposed to do a transition period for two days afterwards and make at least one meal with two eggs in your transition days. So I might do that. I think I probably will because I do like this um, sweet chaffle recipe actually. So I think I'll probably do that and just kind of incorporate it into my regular diet or else, you know, it, it is water weight. It's getting back into ketosis when you do lose off of an egg fast. But in order to keep it off or the majority of it off, you will have to transition into your normal diet, right? All right, so let's get the day started. Let me show you my meals for the whole day. All right, this is my sweet chaffles. I ran out of the syrup, so I ended up putting the caramel syrup on it and all the butter, and that looks absolutely delicious. Like, does it not? It's, it's so good, it's my favorite thing. I also do like the savory as well too. And this is the um, pizza. Sorry, the dogs are going crazy over here. Little Cove has the zooms and poor Aries just kind of suffers the consequences. <laughs> okay, this is my egg pizza. I made it last night as well too. Um, I did three eggs for all of this and I did three eggs for all of this. I will split up these meals like throughout the day. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have one chaffle this morning and then like depending on how I feel, I might have half of this, I might have all of this, but I'm gonna spread it out throughout the day. And so that is the egg pizza, which is really, really good. And then the sweet chaffles. So I'm going to warm one of these up and have that this morning. All right, here is meal number one on day three. One chaffle and a full thing of water. We did it, guys. It is day 17 is over and done with. We made it days off. Well, day off. So I ate that um, pizza, egg pizza, and that was at my lunch break that I had today. And then I had one more break that was 10 minutes, but I wasn't hungry. And even now it's almost four o'clock. I had to do a couple errands, get the groceries that I was supposed to get the other night, got that done. And, uh, and I'm still not hungry. So that is definitely one sign that you're in ketosis is that um, your appetite is suppressed and that's why I love keto so much and that's why I love being in ketosis even at 
maintenance. I'm at my goal weight now, but the benefits of being in ketosis, like versus just, you know, eating whatever and not being in ketosis and not caring when you're at your goal, man, I will stay in ketosis as long as I can. Now, I will eat a lot of treats that have sugar alcohols in it and I think that's what kicked me out of ketosis in the first place so I'm gonna have to really keep an eye on that because you're at goal weight so you kind of want to indulge in those things but I definitely have to limit it and maybe even keep track of my net carbs I can probably push it to 30 net carbs but you know I usually do stay around the 2025 still but I feel so good like it's kind of a shame that I waited this long because I think I've been out of ketosis probably the last like um five days prior to starting the egg fast or like I thought I was just tired from working so much but I don't think I was in ketosis and now that I am like I feel so good so I'm so glad because um tonight I'm gonna try to get some stuff done at home like even last night I noticed it as well too with me prepping my meals cleaning up the kitchen doing all that stuff after working a full eight and a half four hour day I still had energy to do all that and that's how I feel again today so I will probably eat when I get home and see this is probably one thing like I well no I should be okay by the time I get home it'll be about four hours and a bit because it says you're supposed to eat every three to four hours right so and I'm not hungry and then I forget to eat but I'm going to eat when I get home and then I will eat probably again um, all I have left is the sweet chaffles so I'll probably eat half of it when I get home half of it probably around um, like seven o'clock I would say and then I'll be, go to bed at 10 and then tomorrow we will see what the final results are I'm so anxious to see my weight I'm already down I think it's three pounds and like I said my main goal is to get into ketosis so hopefully we are in a moderate state of ketosis tomorrow since we're just in low today but still I feel a hundred times better so I will show you what I eat and when I eat next the end of the video I am going to end it here um, I am going to put in tomorrow's weight and tomorrow's ketones as well too right here just so that you can see where I end up in the completion of the three days and see what my results are for tomorrow and yeah thanks for doing this with me I hope this helps hopes you give hopes it gives you some meal ideas for the egg fast as well too All right, all those egg meals were absolutely delicious. They were so good. I will probably do a transition period with just the one egg meal per day um, with, I think it's two eggs, I believe. And I probably will do that over the course of a weekend just to kind of like keep the water weight off and stay in ketosis. That was my main reasoning to complete this. So yeah, let me, let me know down below if you guys have done an egg fast and if you have any new recipes to share, because I'm hoping this will help a lot of people. I know I've referred to this egg fast video quite a bit in order to help people, and especially with the holidays coming up and you want to get rid of that bloat, an egg fast is definitely um, worth it. You know, you lose those two, three, four pounds. Everybody's different, but it's definitely worth it, and give it a try.